Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Adam Sigaleski, the CEO of Binovi Technologies Corp. How are you doing today, Adam? Good, Rich. Nice to meet you and happy to be here. Pleasure having you on the show. Thank you for being, being with us today. Very excited to learn more about your company and have our community learn more about your company as well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Binovi? Uh, yeah, I was, um, as an entrepreneur, you know, you're always looking for opportunities, you're trying to solve problems. Um, and my son had a binocular vision issue, he wasn't reading, uh, we identified there was an opportunity to obviously fix that vision problem, we went through that entire process, we met with doctors, we had exams, we went through therapy. Uh, and it was only through completing vision therapy that we, uh, we got to a spot where we said, hey, there's a massive opportunity here to fix, you know, millions and millions of people, how do we address this problem? And how do we solve this problem? Uh, so really this whole Bonobi, uh, you know, founding this company started with a personal, you know, development of ours. And, and luckily I, I ran into some very brilliant entrepreneurs that had been, you know, trying to crack this nut since the 1970s. And uh, we bought a few companies that had uh, technology that we were able to improve. And, and, and now we can measure and quantify vision performance off the tools that we've built. Uh, so this is, you know, this has been a, a, a journey of ours that started in a personal issue that we've been able to solve. And now we're just trying to get that out to the people. That sounds great. Well, I'm glad that you're finding something that's helping your son. That's very important. You know, we always think, you know, when you have a want, that's one thing, but when you have a need, that's another. And when you have someone so close to you, like your son that has a problem with his vision and you create a solution, that's to me, that's a huge breakthrough. So congratulations that you're able to find this and now you're able to share it with the world. Now, Adam, can you go through how Binovi has developed breakthrough vision based neurotechnology, which can help improve millions of lives? Yeah, so what we did is we, we followed on the research that's been going on for almost 100 years. Uh, our brain is controlling every component of our body. Um, our, we have muscles on either side of the eyeballs that control how we see, how we perceive information. And uh, you know, over the last decade, maybe 15 years, we know neuroplasticity exists. We know we can change the brain. We can open up new pathways. So really what we're trying to do is find all the original ways that we can improve the visual system. And now we apply that to physical technologies. So we know everything in the, in the tech world has improved drastically. Um, you know, whether it's Apple having developed all of these fantastic devices or augmented reality that's, that's coming to the forefront now. Um, we basically use every mechanism possible to, to change how we move our visual system and how we grow our visual system. And then we use the tools to measure improvement in that visual system. So we've developed software uh, exercise routines. We've partnered with optometrists around the world, bringing the world experts onto an app to be able to train uh, patients remotely. Um, now we're applying uh, remote training and remote teaching to that uh, to that platform. We've created content that we sell to our to our provider network that has you know, top experts around the world teaching other professionals how to, how to change the visual system. And most importantly, we've manufactured hardware that, that now is used across highest levels of sports um, down to the to very early stage education and learning. So we're using software, we're using hardware, and we're trying to take existing techniques that have been around and leveraging the power of the brain to empower, you know, how we can change that visual system and how we can see the world differently, how we can learn to read, how we can learn to perform better as humans. And even if you know we're dealing with top athletes that are looking for a 5% difference or a 10% difference, or we're looking at children that need complete re redevelopment of their visual pathways, um, we see results continuously you know, at probably 95, 96% success rates. Wow. Um, and ultimately this therapy is sticky. It works. Once you've done it for a certain amount of time, you don't need to go back and redo it. There's no regression. We actually see significant developments and those developments stick long-term. I love technology and I love disruptive technology. Can you explain to the viewers how Bonovi is already being used? And you mentioned a little bit by top professional sports teams. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've done um, baseball camps with some of the top baseball teams. Uh, you know, they're, you know, 
guys like Bryce Harper who've won home run derbies have used our technologies probably before I even bought our, our, our one of our core companies. So, wow. uh, you know, there's all sorts of research out there of, of athletes from fencing to, you know, a, a Olympians and, and uh, fixing their alignment for shooting, basketball players uh, developing, you know, greater peripheral vision, um, you know, athletes that, you know, professional skiers, professional baseball players, we've got professional soccer teams now using our technology. So most, probably the most significant thing, um, you know, in the sporting world has been the realization that we can fix concussions and the visual system is tied to concussions. Wow. Uh, most importantly, a lot of research has come out over the last few years that training the visual system before a concussion happens allows you to then measure uh, what changes happen during a concussion and also decrease the uh, recovery time and decrease the uh, impact of a concussion. So now that that story has become mainstream, a lot of you know top universities are con conducting research on, on concussion and vision, and they always kind of fall back on core vision training technology, which is the Benopi platform. So, um, you know, we've gotten top MMA fighters using our tech. We've got um, you know boxers. It's pretty much across every sport, and you'll see some news of some new teams using our technology here coming shortly as well. Yeah, you spent you, you mentioned news. Can you talk a little bit about the news that Benopi is completing an acquisition of Samurai Motion? Yeah, Samurai Motion is actually uh, owns uh, the CAVT technology, which is a vision rehabilitation uh, platform. Um, we've recently made a push to get our technology into early education. We think the real large opportunity, um, given the research that's happened and, and given how uh, young students develop, um, our big opportunity is to really get our technology into schools. And, you know, we've brought some high profile people recently to help on that mission. And this acquisition really saves us about a year and a half. Uh, we value the acquisition, you know, the opportunity cost of this to be about four and a half million dollars. Um, if we were to go and develop this, the amount of time and money it would take to develop these techniques, um, you know, would obviously would slow down our development of this education plan. And uh, what we're trying to do now is, is streamline our athletic offering that has been our core offering for the last couple of years and open up an educational platform that gets you know, kindergarten, more like grade one and two students using our technology. Um, and what you'll see is you'll see some news here in the short term as to how we're rolling out that plan in schools across Canada, um, specifically with a study that's coming together. And what we're trying to do is demonstrate that by training the visual system in these early years, you actually can change when and how people develop the, the reading skills that they need for life. And there's a tremendous amount of research that has confirmed that if you don't read by grade three, your probability of finishing high school is quite low. And the economic impact in Canada right now of kids that don't graduate high school or have what we call uh, learning issues, um, that's about a $700 billion cost, economic cost right now in the government. So if we can then demonstrate that our technology increases the percentage of readers by grade three, we're actually impact, impacting uh, high school graduations, we're impacting how much income you're gonna earn in your life. And for the government's perspective, we're, in, we're, you know, we're augmenting how much you're gonna pay in taxes across your lifetime and, and, and support the economy with the work that you do. So it's a very important mission that, that we're on. Um, you know, we recently brought in Terry Booth as, as a executive chairman um, and Dr. Sandra Stoddard, who is an educational psychologist out of Edmonton. Um, high profile people that are on a mission to help us get this into the schools and demonstrate to the governments that it's very simple to integrate this technology. There's been decades of research to support vision training and anything we can do to improve uh, outcomes for children in reading. Um, it's the most important skill that we have, you know, growing up in school and developing. So we're very excited about it. You'll see a lot of news coming out on that in the short term, but ultimately that's our, that's our big, big picture opportunity. So you did talk about it a little bit. My next, my next question is the education market. You've touched on a little bit how it's even bigger and how can you tell us a little bit about how Benovi has positioned itself to take advantage of this $341 billion market? Yeah, well, first step was um, we recently lost, uh, about a year ago, we lost um, our chief scientist, Dr. Selwyn Super. And we, um, he was, you know, one of the original founders of the company and, um, and, and did, did tremendous work over his career for early education. And he always felt education was the greatest opportunity for, for changing vision and changing lives. We then appointed Dr. Leonard Press, um, who is probably the expert in both um, documenting and, and writing about the subject matter to fixing and working with children uh, who, who are struggling with reading from an early age. 
Um, and again, probably the most knowledgeable person on the planet with respect to how vision therapy can be used to impact uh, early education. So we brought him in as our chief scientific officer. We brought in uh, Sandra Stoddard, um, who is outside of the optometry world and in the education space. And what we're doing is combining all the years of research that we've done in vision therapy and setting up a, a, a targeted plan to roll this out into um, a few schools to start with as a pilot study. And ultimately that is what's gonna set the stage for um, demonstrating to the government that we can we can change outcomes and we can uh, very cost effectively help these children remotely can you know COVID has created a unique scenario there where um, it's a little bit more complicated to get into the schools in the short term but at the same time schools are looking for technology solutions that that probably help support a less hands-on approach so by using video conferencing by using remote training by sending technology and leasing our our uh, our hardware out to the schools we create a system that it becomes very easy for the educators themselves to connect with world experts, you know, anywhere around the world at any time and ensure that their students have access to care. So uh, we've positioned ourselves with, you know, dealing, you know, we started doing remote tech five years ago already. We've designed some of our technology and we're working towards bringing the cost of our hardware down so we can make it more realistic to get into the hands of consumers, to get in the hands of schools uh, and just look what's happened with, Peloton and Tonal and all these great companies that are taking, you know, these these physical tools that we can develop now, the engineering behind these things, and bringing the cost to a level where we can experience great technology, great workouts, great um, data in the comfort of our own homes. So that's kind of how we position ourselves to get into the school space. We've started that mission years ago by being in the remote tech space, and now we're just aligning ourselves with good people and, and running some very good studies that. Um, we believe over the next, you know, two, three, five years is going to demonstrate longitudinally just how, how impactful our technology is. That is very impressive. This is a disruptive technology and Benovi is a company that is doing something really cool and is unique. I haven't, I don't think I've ever interviewed a company that is focused in vision. So I like that. You guys are unique. You have a niche. What do you think the growth potential as the CEO for Benovi is? Yeah, you know, it's, it is a very unique space um, and we've had our challenges um, because, you know, traditionally investors are very, you know, focused on trends, right? Legalization of marijuana, legalization of, of uh, psychedelics, um, commercialization of mineral projects around the world. These are sectors that have been established and, and, Vision is not something that has really been mainstream or been understood. Traditionally, it's been in optometry, um, which hasn't really done a great job promoting it. Uh, and this is really where our new partners uh, feel the huge opportunity is in education, because you demonstrate to one school um, a cost-effective solution that dramatically improves reading outcomes and identifies and gives the power to the teachers to just say, hey, we know something's going on with this kid. And instead of sending them out to this specialist and waiting for a report back and sending them here, we can disrupt that entire equation by bringing all the specialists to the teacher and say, here, run these tests, run this software. This will tell you exactly what's going on with that student and what it means for their potential in, cl in the classroom, which, which is huge because the teacher himself can say, I know something's going wrong. I understand where they're deficient in their learning. And this, this plugs the hole. And you know, from our perspective, once we have that study completed and once we're in one or two schools, um, it becomes very easy to market this to the education space as opposed to marketing it to consumers directly. Schools are looking for, for, for ways to spend their budgets uh, in a cost-effective way that gives them you know, great impact. And, uh, and once the government sees our results and once the government sees the studies that confirm these significant outcomes, then it becomes a very easy licensing model that you just go to the government and say, hey, we'll cover off every student in your province you know, across Canada. We can go to those high level um, decision makers and say, it's gonna cost you this much out of your budget. We're gonna get all this tech shipped out to your schools and we're gonna bring the specialists through teleconferencing and through telehealth, through our Bonobi platform into the, into the hands of every one of your teachers. This is what your teachers need. This is how it makes it easy for them to, to execute. And it suddenly goes from us not selling one-off systems. It becomes yearly license, licensing revenue that we believe can get in the tens of millions of dollars pretty quickly. So we go from a company from generating one to $3 million to suddenly securing, you know, province-wide deals that could be tens of millions of dollars for us. And ultimately, you know, 
we are a global and noble mission-based company. We are trying to get this out as far as we can. We're starting locally here and you know on the ground here in Canada, but ultimately, um, you know, we've all followed the education evolution. We we all have these smartphones now that have these incredible apps. We have hardware that's available to us. We have you know, Google glasses and, and augmented reality tools coming out. And it's only a matter of time before we, we disrupt the education and the healthcare space. And we're now, because of COVID, really diving into, into, into transformative solutions in, in, in healthcare. And we believe, you know, after the development of social media and smartphones and all these early solutions that, you know, we needed to connect with people. We needed to share information and pictures and, and social profiles. We're now getting to the bigger problems that we need to solve and that's education, that's healthcare. That's how do we keep people healthy? How do we educate them better? How do we use these great technologies to advance society? And education and healthcare were always on the end of that curve. And I think we're at a spot now where that's becoming more and more prevalent. I think over the next 12 months, to 18 months, you're going to see a lot of excitement in the education fields because you're now, you know, we now know nutrition is a significant factor in um, in protecting kids, you know, ensuring that they're developing the right way. We want to feed these kids the right food. We want to give them exercise. Why would we not, you know, in our days, we'd go to gym class and we'd play sports, right? Like, let's start at the basics and let's teach the brain and the body how to work well together. And then as these kids develop, we're, we're creating better you know, students, better athletes, you know, people that are better, more aware of, of how they can be better humans in general. And if we can start from a young age, that is the biggest opportunity for us. And that's how I think finally we're at a stage where, where those markets are going to come together. Here at Rich TV Live, we've got a global community of investors that love to understand the company's fundamentals. We are fundamental investors we like to know the share structure. Can you break down the share structure of the company and how much is held by insiders? Yeah, we now have about 150 million shares outstanding. Um, just under 10% of that is held by insiders. About 30 to 40% is held by close friends, associates, people that have been around the story for many, many years and helping to fund and support the business going forward. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, as a public company and as a company that requires capital, you, you need to raise money, you need to, you know, make decisions that obviously uh, impact um, how you roll out your business. And uh, you have to be nimble as well. This, this COVID environment has changed things for everybody. It's changed, it's changed the perception of, of empowering yourself as an investor. It's changed um, some of the decisions you make and how easily you can get access to investors as well. So uh, interesting times right now. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders that are gonna watch this video to know about Benovi today, and your goal for 2021, what would it be? I think the most important opportunity is what we do in the education space and how we can demonstrate to the market uh, a quick and, and uh, definitive way that we can create a solution that will generate revenue for us. So for us, I think the most exciting thing for 2021 is the progress you're gonna see around our mission to get into schools, how that is gonna generate and impact our bottom line and ultimately shape the company for many years to come. So, you know, we're most excited about, obviously, um, continuous product evolution and development, but most importantly, we have a world-class rock star team. We have fantastic scientists that have spent their, their lives and, and truly have passion for creating a, a solution that gets into, this, into the hands of children. And um, that's to, to us the most exciting part of, of the business and the, the fastest way that we're going to grow. I really appreciate what you guys are doing. I have two kids and they're both uh, 12 and 13. My daughter wears glasses. I wear glasses. So vision is extremely important. I understand the importance of vision. And I think you guys are doing great work. Continue to do that great work. If there was a shareholder or shareholders that are interested in learning more about the company, what's the best way for them to get in touch with the company? Yeah, through our investor uh, uh, website, uh, through our website under investor relations, we have a contact page there. Uh, I think that's probably the easiest way for us to um, communicate with shareholders and uh, and we try and respond as actively as we can to investors when we can. Uh, we can engage in, in social media communication. We have obviously conditions with what we can share to the markets um, that, that we have to be careful of, but directly through our website is probably the easiest way to get in touch with us. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today. The CEO of Benovi Technologies Corp, Adam Sigelski. Thank you for your time today, Adam. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, first and foremost, before anybody goes and buys any stocks that we talk about, I must remind you guys, 
that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about. Always invest in the best. The best is blessed. In saying that, I think this is a great company that's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. I told you guys, if you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. And thanks for joining us today, Adam. Thank you. Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.